Welcome to another episode of Quick Tips. Hey guys, time for another Quick Tip. Alright, so this time we're going to talk about how to remove uh, the background from an image. Let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is you want to come over here to your layer palette and just go ahead and double click on your layer. Um, what this does is it brings up a new dialog box. Um, the reason I did this is because right now it's got a little lock icon in there and you want to go ahead and get rid of that. So just go ahead after you open it, after you double click on it, you just want to go ahead and click OK. What that just did is it unlocked the layer. So the next thing you want to do is you want to come over here and grab your uh, quick select tool. Okay. And after you have that selected, just go ahead and go over the entire background. Alright, once you have the background selected, what you want to do next is you want to click on Select and Inverse. What this does is it, it, uh, it selects the, um, the subject instead of the background. And uh, the reason you do this is for the next step, which is to click on Refine Edge. And I usually set my, uh, of course you got to click on Smart Radius, and I set my radius to 0.3. And I set my smoothing to about 2. Now once you do that, I'll just go ahead and zoom in on my image here a little bit. And just go around the hair. Just select the edges. And as you can see, it brought back the detail in the hair, so it doesn't look like it's been cut off. Um, so you just go ahead and click OK, back out, go back to select, inverse again, and then you just delete. And that gets rid of your uh, background. Command D to get rid of the marching ants. And uh, let's just go ahead and throw in a background. So you just click a new layer. Make sure that your new layer is underneath the original layer. And I already have it set up for my uh, foreground, for, uh, foreground color to be white and my background color to be red. And I'm going to do a gradient. Let me just do a circle gradient. So you select the point and just drag it out. And that's it. That's how you uh, remove a background and throw in a quick gradient or whatever color you want it to be.